The Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition or Gain is at the centre of a drive to put the plight of the malnourished on the international agenda. We have to see our challenge of dealing with nutrition and malnutrition in particular as a fight against a social injustice that today traps a third of humanity in poverty and hunger. Across the developing world, poor diet and a lack of access to nutritious food mean that we are struggling to meet the Millennium Development Goals. One of which is a global commitment to half the proportion that go hungry by 2015. If you look at, for example, the Millennium Development Goals, which all the governments have signed off and the UN is completely behind this, that if you change nutrition, then actually you can change all the other uh, you know, indicators like child mortality, productivity, economic improvement. And also what we have learned is that if we don't actually act in the beginning, then we lose all the opportunities. We have to act when the child is actually conceived. GAIN is bringing together key players that help put food on our table. From public to private enterprises, governments to business leaders. At the GAIN African Regional Forum, 160 participants from 18 countries met to push for change. The goal? To tackle food and nutrition security on the continent. We have um, an enormous task here. We have to approach every single country and see what are they doing. It's the future of this continent. It's the future of this continent which is at stake. So we need to build this awareness and the responsibility of each government not to fail to eat children. There are a number of countries where um, we are seeing some good progress, you know, that uh, over the last five years, you know, that um, where, where we see some very proactive governments who are taking this on in a big way. So there are leaders out there, and, you know, some of those on this continent are trying really innovative things uh, at a large scale. Like South Africa, since 2003, the country has made progress tackling diseases that are caused by malnutrition. Low-income people tend to consume only a few food products, of which maize meal is the, is the main staple, uh, and that uh, they derive a, a huge part of their nutrition from that. So if we add essential vitamins and minerals into that food, that improves the the nutritional intake of uh, low-income people. That's essentially what it's about. This has had a significant effect in the reduction of uh, neural tube disorders in uh, young children. We've seen a very substantial reduction. So I think that we are convinced that food fortification works. A social movement has now started. The ability to tackle this hidden hunger is within the grasp of partnerships that span the globe. It's uh, very strong on partnerships. Anybody who has an idea that can help the cause, they are willing to listen and they can also be supportive. They can bring people together to share and see how they can collaborate. For me, that is a very unique way of doing things. I wish many countries, all the countries of Africa could have nutrition as ranking high in the policy making uh, organization. I wish they could make it very important because it's the beginning. If you don't have your people fed properly, where are you going to? What is the future of that nation? And women, so crucial to child development, are leading the charge. Their new mantra, access to nutritious food is a human right. If Malawi does not address the nutrition problem, it ends to lose in the next 10 years 2.7 billion. If we address the problem of nutrition, it will gain annually 83 million US dollars. And that for every one dollar we invest in nutrition, we realize 5.3 dollars. there's now a greater political will to scale up the fight against poor nutrition. 
the science has been proven. Lessons and solutions are being shared. Gain's goal of reaching out to one billion malnourished people across the globe is a step closer. What we really need to do is build a tsunami of explosive positive energy that will be an unstoppable force. That's the energy we need now to build a global movement that will break down the walls of this prison of malnutrition and poverty that traps so many of our people in Africa. And I hope that we are all going to join hands and join forces in this path to give hope to those children that have a right to a better life.